Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. This is Eric Beard. Wanted to do a video for you this evening on a little bit of resistance training programs and approaches to different systems that you can use. This is going to go in conjunction with my uh, Cal U course, the Fit 400 for Fall 2010. And I've got this uh, lovely piece of art. So if any of you are parents out there, uh, you might get stuff like this that comes home and it's wonderful. Actually, I think it's pretty cool. And they've asked me to glue this back on, but I don't really know where it goes. And I don't know where to keep it. I've got all this cool stuff from my kids that they've built up over the years and just really know where to put it. So we have these pictures and robots and cans and turkeys. It's actually a pretty good turkey. It's one of the better ones that come home. But I love those types of things around the holidays. It just kind of brings home the spirit of family and what's important. Um, it's not eating turkey, but it's the... It's the love and appreciation of the things that you can be thankful for. And a big part of what I'm thankful for are my family. That's the, you know, my health and my family are easily the two biggest things that I'm thankful for. I also am quite thankful to be in a profession that I enjoy and I love to contribute to and learn from on a daily basis. So those of you who have contributed to my learning and allowed me to teach to, which contributes to my learning, thank you very much. And I hope you have plenty to be grateful for this holiday season. Enough about me, enough about being grateful. Let's talk a little bit about resistance training systems. For, through the National Academy of Sports Medicine, one of the things that they talk about, particularly during their Phase 2 programming and Phase 5 program of the Optimum Performance Training Model are supersets. One way to help remember how NASM teaches this is the use of alliteration. Supersets. Think of the S's. Supersets mean back-to-back -back exercises for the same muscle group. So use the alliteration. Supersets for the same muscle group. I've seen that in different publications and different texts where supersets are back-to-back -back exercises for antagonistic or opposite muscle groups. But what we'd like to do is to use back-to-back -back exercises for the same muscle groups. We want to pick a slightly heavier weight, 70 to 80% of our one rep max, in a more stable environment, machine, dumbbell, barbell, Fatigue the, the prime movers, some of those type 2 muscle fibers uh, for 8 to 10 repetitions, then immediately go to a stabilization based exercise. There's already some fatigue in the type 2 muscle fibers. We're going to transition throughout the muscle fiber continuum, build the endurance of those fibers, and really finish off by challenging the type 1 muscle fibers. That's in a phase 2 superset for the OPT model. Superset back to back for the same muscle groups or similar biomechanical exercises. We also use that in phase five. We do a max strength type exercise for one to five reps and followed up with a power or explosive exercise. It's like a barbell bench press followed by a medicine ball chest pass or a heavy um, barbell deadlift followed by, by a squat jump. Lots of different ways to use that, but those are the protocols you see in the OPT model. I had also mentioned compound sets. Compound sets are back-to-back -back exercises for the opposite muscles. Most commonly we see that and people might do biceps, triceps to save a little time. Work on the guns before they head out Saturday night in the clubs or probably even Friday night. You know, hey, why wait till Saturday? Let's start the gun show on Friday night and go, you know, see the guys over in the corner banging out the curls and the tricep extensions right on the cable machine looking good for the ladies. Yeah, you tend to see that. Now, when we're actually building a fat loss program or an athletic preparation program, the compound set can be a wonderful way to produce time. I use compound sets for myself and my athletes and my clients. Chest and back, push and pull. Um, that is a wonderful way. You get a great pump and it feels great to have the major muscle groups of the upper body stimulated. You have push followed by pull. You don't really have to wait the rest period because while the chest is resting, the back is working. While the push is resting, the pull is working. You can get a tremendous amount of work done, save some time and feel really good and invigorated and challenged. Have some nice stimulation of the good hormones that we'd like to see through this workout. You can push a little bit of weight here and you can use that compound set approach in most of the phases in the OPT model. You're primarily in phase two and phase five going to use the supersets, but you can use this in phase one, you can use that in phase three, you can use it in phase four. You can get a little creative with something else. Um, now, I, I didn't make this up, and this stuff's been around for a while, but tricets, where we're doing three sets in a row for the same muscle group. 
you know, this probably gained bodybuilding fame. I'm going to guess sometime in the late 60s, early 70s. I wasn't following the bodybuilding scene then, um, but I've, you know, read enough articles and magazines and watched enough shows on it and um, talked to enough people that have followed the sport for long enough. I remember Lou Ferrigno talking about doing this for his triceps where, you know, he would do something like a, a barbell uh, skull crusher followed by a, you know, a tricep press down, followed maybe by a dumbbell kickback. Three of those exercises in a row. So what we're working on there is some strength endurance, especially if you're doing, it seems that the 10 repetition benchmark is what's used oftentimes. So in a tri-set, you might do 10 reps of one exercise, followed immediately by 10 reps of another exercise, and 10 reps of another exercise. Where that fits in the OPT model, it's very similar to a superset. It's just tacking, off, tacking on a third set. So we're going to be building strength endurance as well as stabilization endurance. You're going to be fatiguing the larger muscle fibers early in the set, the type 2X muscle fibers, mm, type 2B, depending on the weight that you use, then building the endurance of those middle muscle fibers, the Bs, and then fatiguing the, the type 1 muscle fibers at the end. This can be another way to get a lot of work done in a bit of time. Feels good, you get a burn, it feels like you're chewing some calories up. And for the regular fitness client, it, it really feels like they're doing some work. Or for the person who, who likes to work hard and likes to enjoy a little bit of a burn. So the tri-sets are, are a fun way to play, and you can absolutely plug that into the OPT model. As long as someone's posture is good and you're using uh, exercises, um, proprioceptive environments, and loads, and tempos that the person control with good form and it matches the phase that you're in, by all means do it. So the superset is plugged in. Get creative with a compound set, but don't forget about triceps. Try sets. You can, especially with legs and lower body, you're trying to get a lot of work done in a little bit of time. It seems that leg exercises take a lot out of you, you know, a squat, a deadlift. You know, I do those things, but they're a lot of work. I don't necessarily enjoy doing them as much as I used to. So to blow through that and to get that out of my way is I'll knock those out. I might do a barbell deadlift, I might do a some sort of uh, squat, then follow it up by a kettlebell swing. I might start off doing a barbell uh, deadlift or a barbell squat and then do a kettlebell swing and then finish off on a power plate for 30 seconds on a single leg balance on each side or doing squats or a squat jump on there. You can get pretty creative with it. So these are three basic resistance training systems that you can use. That, you know, Joe Weeders talked about them. Bodybuilders have talked about them. Strength coaches have talked about them. Fitness professionals have talked about them. But you can use those within NASM's OPT model. Have some creativity. Just if you're studying for any of the uh, NASM, the National Academy of Sports Medicine curriculum, just try to remember supersets are back-to-back -back for the same muscle group. Compound is talking about opposite or antagonistic, and tri-sets are typically three sets in a row for the same muscle group. There are so many different things that you can do, but have fun with these. Be thankful for your workout program. I'm Eric Beard. Thanks for watching.